Hi guys! <laughs> so I have two special guests with me, one of my best, two of my best friends. <laughs> this is one of my best friends. <laughs> Tina and Shelby, if you guys don't know them, they're all over my social media. And they are in town for Generation Beauty, we already went that. We all have vlogs, so if you guys want to go check that out, I will have that down in the description box below. So we wanted to film a collab video. Since Valentine's is coming up, we all wanted to do like something around that theme. Shelby did like a super dramatic sexy look. I just did a simple halo eye. She did a half cut crease. And if you guys decide to recreate any of these looks, definitely tag us. And let's go ahead and get started. So as you guys can see, we already did our eyebrows off camera and we did one eye. So now we're gonna go ahead and do our face and then we're gonna move on to the eye portion. So everything we use is gonna be down in the description box below as long as they're social media, so you guys should definitely go subscribe to them. Okay, so a red to prime, and then we're gonna go to foundation. What, what primer are you using? Oh. <clears throat> That's a primer? I'm using it as one. What the fuck? That's a primer? I'm it says beauty elixir. I'm gonna use it as one though. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna use this first. I'm just waiting for my face to dry. So this looks really good. Okay, so I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay one. I love this one, but I don't like using it alone, so I mix in an oil to make it more hydrated and stuff like that. The foundation, wait, what are you doing? I'm putting this MAC Pro Longwear. Oh wait, this isn't MAC Pro Longwear. <laughs> <laughs> it's MAC Paint Pot. And I'm just putting it on my nose as a base because my nose, or <laughs> <laughs> get it together, sis! Fuck! <laughs> I'm using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prime my nose um, before I put foundation on just because foundation comes off on my nose a lot, so... That's a good little Shelby trick right there. Yeah, I tried it out. It's really good, especially if you contour your nose. Then I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Vanish Stick. This is my favorite foundation. If you guys subscribe to me, you know. I can put your rider guys. And I go ham with this, like she actually don't be got shy. she got me on that one. It's don't be shy, low. bitches. I tried it, I don't like it. Why? No, it looks good at first. Like the coverage is really good and it blends, but it gets hella cakey on me. Can't relate. Can't relate, sis. Then I'm just gonna blend it in with a beauty blender. I don't think you had to explain that. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Like, you're all just like, after you're like halfway done blending, you're like, I'm gonna put it. What the fuck? Okay, so now we're just gonna apply some concealer and we're all using Tarte Shape Tape because we're. We all love it. We, yeah. all, we all love this concealer. This concealer we is We all gravitate fuck. to the same product. I was about to say we're extra, but I was like, yeah, stop <laughs> being extra. <laughs> no, but seriously though, like when we get PR packages and stuff, we always go towards the same stuff like every freaking time. What should I use? God damn, y'all add so much. What do you mean? Look at this. You guys go ahead. No, because when I blend it, it always like comes off. So now we're gonna set our face and we're gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set our face. What are you she using? said we're gonna use it. Yeah, which I'm using We're gonna use it. Gonna use it. Gonna use, I'm, I'm gonna use Air Spun because this is the shit. Okay, so now we're just gonna go into our face powders. I like to use one with coverage. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. Um, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Face Powder. But this is hella good because it's super inexpensive. It's from the drugstore, but it has like really good coverage. And it locks your makeup in really well. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the eye portion and all of us are gonna be doing something different. Shelby's doing a cut crease, I'm doing a halo eye. She's doing a half cut crease with glitter. We all use glitter in these looks. And obviously we can't have it too zoomed in because it, we wouldn't fit. But we're just gonna go ahead and get started with the eyes and we're gonna be going through and talking as to what eyeshadows we are using. So I'm gonna use Mars from the Manny MUA palette. And me and Daisy are both going with Cupcake from Makeup Geek because... This is her custom best. palette. It's so freaking awesome. My palette is too big and I'm not trying to do a lot extra. 
section. Since me and Tina are using cupcake, we're gonna have to build this color until we're satisfied with it. Since I'm doing a halo eye, I have to drag it in the inner corner and outer corner. So 10 years later and I'm still blending, but Shelby, what color are you gonna go in with? I'm gonna go in with Vintage, Bitten, and Cherry Cola. And I'm gonna go in with the Modern Renaissance palette that I just spilled powder all over, but I'm gonna take a Love Letter, which is this shade right here. And then I am, <laughs> there's a lash. <laughs> I'm taking this color right here, which is called, wait, what's this shadow called, Tuscan? Tuscan. Ah! What the Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Tuscan Sun by Makeup Geek. For halo eyes, you just have to build the colors and blend. Blending is the key to this look. Well, blending is the key to any look. <laughs> I'm mixing both of the shadows that I used earlier, so it's Cupcake and Tuscan Sun, and I'm applying that on the inner and outer corners. You want to avoid the middle area because that's where we're gonna be putting glitter. Okay, I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm gonna cut my crease with that. And then I'm gonna take Shadow Cola from Makeup Geek, which is this one right here, and I'm gonna deepen up the outer edges of my crease. And then I'm gonna get Love Letter from the Modern Renaissance palette and apply it to the inner and outer corner just to deepen it up a bit more. I'm pretty much done with my eyes, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a bit of concealer right here just to make the glitter pop out more. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut my crease. I'm gonna do a half cut crease and I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on a Morphe M508 brush. This is the best brush for cutting your crease, you guys. It's so freaking bomb. But I'm only gonna cut my crease like halfway. I'm not gonna take it all the way out like Shelby. I'm using the Glitter Glue by Too Faced. I honestly think that's the best glitter glue. Do y'all disagree or agree? No, Never tried I started it. using it because of you this weekend. For glitter, I'm using this NYX glitter in the shade. It doesn't have a shade, it just it's, it's O2. It doesn't have a shade, but it's in the number O2. So basically, just like how I did it, you just want to apply the glitter on the center of the lid. And then I'm going to put on some eyeliner just so I can hide the falsies with my real lashes. Okay, and then on my lid, I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek's Whimsical, which looks like this, just on my lid before I apply glitter. That's so cool. You sketch out your eyeliner before? Yeah, it's Ooh. easier. Wow, all these great tips from Shelby. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with the same glitter glue, the... Too Faced Shadow and Sarge Glitter. Shadow and Sarge. <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna go with the Too Faced oh my Glitter God. Glue. <gasps> oh, but I'm putting glitter. Oh, so I don't care. <laughs> okay, Too Faced Glitter Glue on top of that shade, and then I'm gonna take this glitter from Bulk Glitters in the shade Blushes Pink. We're sorry if like we get out of the frame. It's yeah, literally it's difficult hard. with three people. Yeah. The lashes I'm gonna be using are in the style Slayer Lashes by the Makeup Shop. Oh wow, this glitter is hella sticky. Give me this glitter glue. 
Now I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Glitter Liner in Midnight Cowboy. And I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. I'm gonna be using the same eyeshadows that I use on the top eye and I'm gonna drag it on my lower lash line. Okay, and when you do a half cut crease, you want this outer edge to blend into your crease color. So I always go in with a flat crease brush like this. This is the MAC 217. And then I'll go in with the same shades I use in my crease and just pop it on top like that. And then just like kind of rub back and forth so it blends them together. For a halo eye, you want to make sure to connect both colors right here so that we don't have like an awkward space. So I just like to use a blending brush and drag it down. Okay, I'm also just going to quickly highlight my brow bone. Oh my god, I just got my brush sticking here. Wow, okay. But I'm just going to quickly highlight my brow bone using Whimsical from Makeup Geek. It's the same shade I use on my lid. I am going to move on to Bottom Mascara. Yeah. That's what makes my eyelashes look hello. Okay, and for lashes, I'm using these Slay Lashes in the shade. <laughs> I just say in the shade. <laughs> Miami. <laughs> these aren't my name. I know, bitch. It was a joke. <laughs> okay, for lashes, I'm gonna be taking these Slay lashes in the style Hypnotic. I was about to Wait, say those are Slay lashes in the style Hypnotic? Yeah. No fucking way. Yeah. I cut them though a little. Cause bitch. they're too big on me. No way. Yeah. I have those same lashes, and they look nothing like that. No, seriously. You probably just didn't cut them. You cut them way too short, cause your eyes are fucking huge. So now we're all gonna bronze our face. I'm using the Coco Contour Kit. I'm using the Jouer bronzer in Suntan. So am I, because it's fucking popping. I used to use that one, but I feel like it looked too gray on me. You guys actually pointed it out. And I looked at my pictures and I was like, you guys are right. Oh, I keep laughing so I have hella smile on this right now. Can't really. <laughs> she keeps fucking dragging me. She's like, I can't relate, can't relate. Because I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Shim that, shim that, shim that. What? Yeah, you know, whatever. I was about to be like, yeah, I know, look at your smile. But <laughs> she does. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna contour using my Anastasia contour kit. I only use this shade right here. This is called Bond. It's perfect for if you're super pasty like me. I'm gonna with my blush. You guys already know my routine, so. I'm gonna go in with the Tardius, or Tardis, I always say that wrong, Pro Palette, and I'm gonna use, what is this? Stunner. That's my favorite. That's my shade. Okay, I'm gonna use the same highlighter, Tardis Pro Glow. Since I'm not basic, I'm gonna go in. What are you saying? What the fuck? She's probably like cursing me on Spanish. Since y'all wanna be dragging me too, guess who's not gonna let y'all use Coco Blank? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like, oh fuck. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with Coco Bling. You guys know this is my favorite highlighter. Wow. Okay, for my lipstick, I'm using Queen Bee from Too Faced. I wonder if they can see my highlight. I feel like I'm too far away. 
For lips, I'm using Tara by Jouer. This is my favorite. Wait, do you guys love these? I love these. No, seriously, I freaking love them. You can honestly customize these looks with whichever colors you guys want. You don't specifically have to do these colors. Like you can do a pink cut crease with the technique that Shelby did. You can do like a red halo eye. Honestly, it's up to you. Okay guys, so we just finished. This is our completed look. They're all really different and diverse, so you know, whatever fits your cup of tea, then that's what you can do. If you create any of these looks, do not forget to tag all three of us. Like I said, their social media will be linked down below. Do not forget to subscribe to their channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Recording? No. Oh, really? <gasps> oh, fuck! <laughs> I'm holding the palette, dude! Fuck it, look at the fuck out. <laughs> Tina, let me talk because this is my channel because you've been talking for like <laughs> I the past. Know. I know. I'm like, like used we, to doing We both it. look at you like, bitch. Like, <laughs> this is my chair. I mean, wait, did I just say this is my chair? <laughs> Tina, you go ahead. I'm like it. joking now. We're taking like 10 hours. No, yeah. <laughs> I heard you go for those. <laughs> that wasn't me. Can y'all shut <laughs> up? I can't focus. <laughs> this is going to be my blending. It's going to be all like trash. Oh, she's trying to blame us for her blending. <laughs>